Now to the state of our schools. The Hendrick Hudson School District released a report today regarding the amount of times a district's buses are illegally passed and the findings of this result will be shocking to you. News 12's Emily Young is in Montrose with more. Emily, what did this report say? Frankly, this information is troubling for anyone with a school aged child. In just over a month, the school district found their buses to be illegally passed 367 times. That's 367 near misses just like this one. One of my drivers talked to me the other day. He said, and a car passed me on the inside. He says, and I, I laid on the horn and the guy stops next to me. He goes, oh, what's the problem? And he goes, what's the problem? You can't go through my red lights. And he goes, oh, I didn't think I had to stop. 367 passes of the school bus is very alarming for a parent. Uh, my kids are really small, so for them to cross the street if they have to and not um, look both ways is very, you know, it's concerning that a car could pass the bus without stopping at the stop sign. This information comes from a program the district has been piloting called Bus Patrol. They install six strategically located cameras onto every bus in the district. What it does is the camera captures any vehicles that pass through the bus once the red lights are activated. Westchester County is the only county in the Lower Hudson Valley that does not have this system but in place. School but school need districts the need the Westchester County Board of, board of Legislators to get on board with this technology. And doing so would also allow for the implementation of the actual deterrent fines. As people pass a school bus's red lights and, a, and their um, photograph is taken of their license plate, the registered owner of that vehicle then gets issued a summons. The summons is about $250 for a first violation, and it can also add six points to your license. That element cannot go into effect until the system as a whole can be implemented full time. The district has several to try and get them to approve this, but so far they haven't. And this program, by the way, comes at no cost to the county or the district. The way that it works is that they get paid from the fines up until they can recoup the cost of the cameras and the installation. And after that, the money goes straight to the county. In Montrose, Emily Young, News 12. And take our News 12 poll.